I thought you gave that stuff up, Marcus. Easy, keep well. Clyde. Oh, it's been a long time. Yeah, three and a half years. I see you haven't let this place change one bit since my last show. Oh, I don't usually get the opportunity to, to, to see it from a seat. I like to come out here sometimes when it's quiet to soak it all Stop up. it, stop it. Came to congratulate you. You're serious? We haven't talked since. We don't need to. I'm all right. Really. Tonight shouldn't be about anything but you. <sighs> 20 years. That's a long time. It's blown by. Sometimes I have to sit here to force some clear memories. Everything tends to blur together now. I bet that doesn't help the memories stay clear, does it? Truthfully, I haven't had a drink since the last time I saw you. I'm sorry, Clyde. I can't sit here and not bring it up, not talk about it. If I can go back to that night, there's no way I would have. Yeah, you would have. Look, if you're going to apologize, you don't have to lie about it. You had a problem, Marcus. You knew it. We all knew it. I've thought a lot about this conversation since that night. I knew that's one of the first things you would say. The client. You have to know that I would trade my life for hers in a heartbeat. So would I. You know what I think about every time I go to bed at night? I think about that song Johnny played for her once when he was in the pit after a show. She danced and danced and told all of us that she'd be a prima ballerina on the stage someday. still here at clearest day. It's not a sad memory, though. She would have been great up there, but even if she wasn't, it would be okay. It would be okay because that's just the kind of girl she was. When we'd play a game and she couldn't figure out how to beat me, or if I wasn't feeling so great after a performance, she'd come up to me. She'd look up at me and she'd say, it's okay, Daddy. As long as we're having fun, who cares? Well, I'm glad you got to hear one more monologue from me, Marcus. I know you always used to love seeing me perform. You're predictable. I knew what you'd say before you said it. I knew you kept that flask of booze hidden. And I knew that eventually, 
the guilt you felt for murdering my daughter wouldn't outweigh your desire to forget your miserable existence for one more night. It's ironic. You took the one thing I love, and the one thing you love took you. I constantly hear that song she danced to the night she died. And when you get to the deepest depths of hell, I pray that's all you hear too. Congrats on 20 years, caretaker. <laughs>